hot as hell. Yeah. Woo, yeah. I just, I'm not going to be too long because it is hot out here. I don't want nobody to pass out. Uh, I don't know if y'all have ever been to an event where somebody passed out. Oh, I have, yeah. I, I have. Yep. Yeah. Me too. It's crazy. It's crazy. Right? But, um, you know, something that Noel said, it kind of strikes me. She was, you know, she was talking about that day that you don't post, right? That day that you don't post, you really block somebody from a blessing, right? You block somebody from being able to pay their rent. You block somebody from being able to support their family. You block somebody from potentially changing their life forever. That day that you didn't post, right? Think about it like this. That day that you didn't post, you may have not blocked them from their blessing, right? But you blocked yourself from that blessing. Somebody else capitalized on the blessing that you that could have been for you. Anybody ever seen somebody that they knew hit a high rank and it wasn't in your organization? Yeah. Anybody ever seen somebody join Telegram and yeah. it wasn't with you? Yeah. Right? Same. That may have been that day that you decided not to post. Right? Or that may have been that day that you decided not to join. It may have been that day that you decided just not to do it. Right? One thing that I, I did well, right? One thing that I did, one of the the best things that I did in the beginning was just it, right? Shout out to the dude, right? I just did it. You just do it, right? Most people think about it, but they don't ever do it. Most people plan, but they don't ever do it, right? There's so many people that come into this business and they try to be prepared, right? Or there's people that try to make moves in the business and they want to be prepared. I get it, right? The moment that you plan to fail, you fail, or you, the moment you fail to plan, you plan to what? Fail. Absolutely, I get it. But this is where people get messed up. People plan to position, when in reality, do you have to position the plan? I'm not, I'm not wasting time planning before I make a move. Let me take a step first before somebody else takes that step before me. Because that moment that you decide to not take that step because you're too scared to not be prepared or you don't think that you're good enough or you don't, you don't think that you have what it takes, somebody that has way less of what it takes than you is going to take that position. And eventually, they're going to do all the things that you wanted to do. It happens all day, every day of the week. So when you're thinking about, oh, hey, I need to get 10 enrollments tomorrow. Or, hey, I need to do a training for my team. Or your mentor hits you up, hey, you need to do this, that, or the third. And you're planning to do it. Oh, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm too scared to do that call. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think I'm ready. Right? I don't know if I'm ready to speak in front of people. Right? I don't know if I'm ready to post. I want to structure my Instagram a certain way so my followers don't switch up on me. Who cares? All right, you just do it. You make it work. That's how it happens. That's how you become successful. Most of your success is gonna happen on accident. Most of the people that you meet, right? They're not gonna be your closest friends. It is what it is. My closest friends, people I grew up with, they're still not in the business, right? The situations that happen and experiences that happen in your life that when you come across somebody that brings in 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 people into your group, Nine times out of ten, the story is going to be crazy because it happened all on accident. It wasn't supposed to happen. But the reason that it did happen is because you decided to just do it. Time waits on no one. Whatever your goals are, whatever you want to do in life, start doing it not yesterday, not right now. If you're taking notes, jot it down. Right, the one note I want you to take, I need to do it. You already know what you want. You have a vehicle now, get running. Because the moment that you decide to walk to your dreams, right, somebody else is gonna beat you there. They're gonna beat you to your dreams. It happens each and every single day of the week. It's happening in the business. It's, it, it might happen to me. But you can't let it happen to you can't. I want everybody to understand. Um, I, was, I was talking about this the other day. It's, it comes a time in this business, and just in business period, where you may get a certain level of success or you may think that you know what you need to be doing. Right? Or you think you have all of the answers. 
right? Or you think you know exactly what it takes, right? Or you think, hey, you know what? I don't need to, I don't need to necessarily listen to this person or that person. I know exactly what I need to do. I want everybody to understand. With the moment that you decide to do your own thing is the moment that you're lonely, right? And not only are you lonely, but your team is lonely. The people that are following you, you're, you're putting everybody on an island. This is a house built within a house. Don't have a roof inside of a roof. It never works like that. Never, right? You have to build to a certain point where, hey, maybe you become bigger than somebody, right? Maybe your business is too big. But until that time happens, you need to make sure that you're plugged in within the house. I don't know if that makes sense. You gotta make sure that you're plugged in with the bigger group. Most people, this is what happens. Most people feel like they, they got the answers. Most people feel like, hey, they got it figured out, right? Most people feel like, look, I know how to build my business. I wanna do this, that, or the third specifically within my group. I don't, want, I don't need to stay plugged into what y'all doing. I know exactly what I need to do. This is what happens. You may not be at that point now, but you might get to that point. You don't ever need to feel like, hey, I need to do my own thing before you're bigger than something. I'm not bigger than the company, but I'm going to still stay plugged into what the company is doing. I'm not. Right? You may have a, a, a mentor that's a chairman and you're a Platinum 2000. You feel like, hey, I can do it on my own. How? Your organization has not reached the chairman level yet. The moment that you try to build a roof with inside a roof, everybody starts getting claustrophobic. Everybody starts feeling like they don't know what to do. Everybody starts feeling like they don't know who to listen to. The moment you decide to not listen, guess what? Guess what's gonna happen to you? The same exact thing. People aren't gonna listen to you. And you may have the answers, you may know where to go. But now, you're leading them to a place called the island of nowhere. Right? The island of nothing. You want people to stay plugged into you, you gotta make sure that you plugged into the bigger group. Right? You gotta make sure that you're doing what the people that have the results that you want are doing. Up until you become bigger, you gotta make sure that you stay the course. Right? It's too many, it's too many great leaders in this organization now, it's too many great leaders just within the company, it's too many great leaders that we're surrounded around at this point. This is this is I hate to say it, but this is easy. <laughs> it's easy. All you do is, look, you do it, and you just listen to people that have done it. Period. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't, me, me being at this position in my life, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little weird. I'm going to be real. I haven't been making money that long. It's been like two years. I've been making, you know, some serious money. And it's a lot. I don't, like, people like David, like, he's been making money like this for a really long time. Like, I wouldn't, it would be hard for me to know how money feels like this if I didn't, like, you know, if you didn't have somebody that's been there before that's had money, right, or had a certain level of success, how are you going to know how to function? You're not. So the moment that you try to function on your own, guess what, you're going to lose it. The moment that you feel like you're bigger than that chairman that's telling you what to do at Platinum 2000, you might not ever see chairman. And if you see chairman, guess what? You're gonna go right back to Platinum 2000. I see it, I see it happen all of the time. And I tell people, look, what's worse than not having it is getting it and somebody taking it away, losing it. Look, we're here to keep it. We're here to do it, we're here to get it, and we're here to keep it forever. And when we have kids, when we have little brothers, little, then we can pass it down. But because you don't decide, if you decide not to listen or do you decide to not get plugged in or stay plugged in, you decide to do your own thing, you decide to, hey, I got all the answers, I figured it out, you got to think about the people that's following you. You got to think about the people that's coming after you. That's the one thing I did right. I just do it. You can have superior knowledge but inferior results every single day of the week. Too many of us have had great ideas. Who ever had just a great ass idea? Like, you ever thought like, I think I just figured out something genius. 
Yeah, like, why hasn't anybody invented this yet? And then you mess around and you ain't you don't invent it either. <laughs> yeah, then you see it two years later from somebody you ain't never seen in your life. You can have, look, you can be a genius, but a dumbass. <laughs> right? You can have great ideas, all of these things locked up in this brain of yours, right? But until you take action, until you do it, it means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. I'm here to tell everybody, look, I want to I wanna close out like this. We all know what we want. I want to drive a Lambo. Rolls Royce? Ferrari? Who do you want to drive a nice car? Y'all want to live in nice houses? Y'all want to live in big houses? Y'all want to be able to travel the world? Go wherever you want to, COVID or not? Right? I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I see a lot of people that's, I don't know, it's just a little weird. I, lately I've been looking around at people getting COVID. I don't really hear too much about the people that got a lot of money. Yeah, what, why they, why they not fall? What's happening? What's, what are they doing that the other people aren't? Who knows? But obviously, look, I'd rather just be rich because obviously they may have some, they may know something that we don't. You got to think about that. All of the problems and the things that you're going through right now, it, other people don't even have to worry about it. Like the problems I used to deal with two years ago are just so much different than the problems I deal with now. Like really. And I have to catch myself because I get, I get stressed out easily. I get anxiety. Then I got to think about it like Bryce. I'm trying to decide do I want to live in a penthouse or a mansion? And it's stressing me out because I'm like, damn, the, the penthouse got this, but the mansion. I'm stressed out and I'm thinking like, what the hell? <laughs> I was just, I just couldn't, I was embarrassed to, anybody ever been at lunch with your friends and the bill come? <laughs> you know, you, look, you, it's, it's a little awkward because they put it right in front of you. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna be a man, I'm gonna grab this. Y'all ever gave y'all a card and y'all didn't know if it was gonna go through? <laughs> Alright, so you have to get up from the table and like whisper, like, let me know, get me on the side. <laughs> <laughs> let me know if that joint don't go through. Don't, don't just put it on the table, alright? Those are the types of problems I used to deal with. I don't deal with those problems no more. It's like here, I know it's going through. Alright, we good. Your problems won't change until you change. Nothing will happen until you happen. Right? You going through the motions of the business or are you putting your business in motion? Right? We need to all start putting our business in motion. More importantly, we need to put our lives in motion. All of the things that you want, you already have the vehicle that's going to get you there. Y'all got It's time to drive it. It's, it's time to drop. Let's not let's not plan if there's gonna be a turn or a red light. Let's just floor it and see what happens. Let's floor it and see what happens. Right? Let's stop. Let's stop foot dapping in the water, checking to see if it's cold. Let's just cannonball in there. Right? I don't I don't foot dab no more because when I feel like it's too cold, that's when I turn away. It's like I, I don't know if I want to jump in the pool. When I cannonball, it's like damn. It was cold, but I'm in there. I'm in here. Like, I'm already in here. So I, I already did what I needed to do. That's how you got to treat this business. That's how you got to treat life. Stop testing it out. The moment that you test it out, right, you turn away. You get scared. When I was, uh, when I was a Platinum 150, Brandon was still doing the calls. I didn't even know. Look, I damn near was like, I don't know what the hell to talk about. I just know I want to be rich. Uh, all of the harmonic scanner, I don't know how to explain that. I can explain this though, we are going to get rich. That was, that was the conversation I was having with my friends. Those are the conversations I was having with Ray and Nate, all of them. It wasn't, bro, look, put your entry, right? Once you hit T, none of that. It was like, look, it's legal. <laughs> and we're going to get rich. Trust me. That was the initial conversation. I want everybody to understand. 
Platinum 150 is when I started doing the cars. I got tired of seeing Brandon get off work sweaty in his car. I don't even know what he was driving at the time. <laughs> Hey, all you, all you can see is Brandon's sweat dripping. He had a little tag on from work. He was just screaming like, yo! I, I, I understand the passion now, right? It's like, I feel passionate just with the sun right now. I get it. Right, but Platinum 150, I said, hey, you know what? Let me start doing it. My first call, I, I kid you not. My roommate from college, his name was Keyshawn. Right? He was on that first call I did. My first call ever. It was terrible. It was terrible. I, I forgot what the harmonic scanner was. I don't look. I don't. I don't. I don't even remember mentioning two and three, right? I probably skipped a few ranks. It was terrible. It probably made no sense to me. And I was. I felt like defeated when I got out the car. I'm like, crazy thing is, Keyshawn never signed up. I still like blame myself. He just happened to get on my first call. If he would have get on it now, he was gone. But he got on the first one. And it just, it just literally turned him completely off to everything that we've been doing. <laughs> it is what it is. Shout out to Keyshawn. Let's all just. <laughs> you see me. But look, um, the thing is, I was discouraged. I was, I felt defeated. Like you know, he didn't enroll. I know my the call was terrible. It was shitty, right? But the crazy thing is. Guess what I decided to do the next day? I decided to just do it again. That's the difference. People try it out, right? They try to do it the first time and it doesn't go well, and they shy away from ever doing it again. That's the difference. The moment that you mess up, that's a sign of growth. And if you're growing, right, you're moving in the right direction. That's one thing that I would have changed in the beginning. Just like you, even people in your business. This is what a, pe a lot of people do. If you want it done right, you do it yourself. But that's not always the right way to go, right? Because the only reason that you're doing it right is because you did it wrong before. So if you want leaders, people in your business to do it right, you gotta allow them to do it. You gotta allow them to mess up. You gotta allow people to grow. People don't like to be managed, they like to be led. Right? They don't like to be managed, they like to be led. The moment that you try to take over other people's business and do the things that they need to be doing, right? Or you leverage somebody to do things that you should be doing, it's too much managing going on. It's no leading. If you want to be a high rank, if you want to get to the next level, specifically with this, if you want to drive nice cars, you gotta be willing to lead. You gotta be willing to do it first. You gotta be willing to take all the first punches. All the mess ups, right? All of the embarrassments, right? All of the nervousness. You gotta take on all of that first so people can understand that they can do it too. Let people mess up. Let people do what you're doing, right? Let people try it out because that's how you develop a leader. It's too much. All of the managing, look, you, don't, you shouldn't wanna be managed and you shouldn't do managing. You're being led to lead. Follow the example, set a better one. That's all it is. This is not hard, right? Who going chairman in the next 90? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're not even in a building. We're not in a hotel. Half of y'all don't got masks on, so I guess COVID not that serious. <laughs> right? Who going chubber the next night? Yeah! Right? I believe everybody can, can do it. We just have to. Do it. You gotta do it, man. Look, don't 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 listen to anything that I say, any any of these great leaders you heard from. Say all of the things that they've been saying. Get super duper motivated and go back to doing whatever the hell you were doing earlier this morning. Right? Or yesterday. Yesterday you said tomorrow, last week you said next week, last 30, you said next 30, last year in 2019, you said 2020 was it. Is it? Right? Whatever y'all want, Chairman, Platinum 5, no. Chairman, right? Chairman 25, Chairman 50, so on. In the next 90, let's make it happen, but we have to do it. 
we have to make the first step happen as soon as we walk off this field. Right? We're going to listen now, but when we walk off this field, we're ready to leave. Jump in the next night. Yeah. Yeah.